Hello Strongholders, Natasha here, Community Lead at Firefly Studios with yet another monster question and answer session on Stronghold Warlords. In our last dev update, we took the opportunity to sit down with producer Paul and programmer Matt to discuss our community's 10 most frequently asked questions in a greater depth than we have before. Today, however, we've swapped out Paul and Matt for marketing huckster Nick. <laughs> I've always wanted to be referred to as a huckster, so thank you for that. Each time we put out a request to our community for questions on Discord, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, we get a deluge of questions, and this time was no different. So if your question didn't come up in one of our previous videos, then fear not because we'll be answering nearly a hundred of them today. So first up we have the gaming pro who asks, will we be getting cool battle music? We will be getting cool battle music. Full soundtrack directed by Robert Uvino. Um, check out Aaron's music preview if you haven't already. Pepic underscore zero five asks, if I'm a Chinese lord, can I recruit Japanese troops? Uh, yes, so it's similar to Crusader 1, if you've got uh, troops that you want to recruit from different nations, you can do that at either the barracks or the military academy. Eleanor asks, can the general unit get on a horse? Sadly not, too much heavy armour. Ah. Too thick. Too thick. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. <laughs> Eleanor back with a second question who asks, will we be able to recreate Himiji Castle? You will, yeah, map editor in there at launch, can't wait to see what you do with it. Eleanor with a third question who asks, can we change the colour of the keep? Yep, in multiplayer or skirmish, just change the team colour. Eleanor asks, hang on, have we, have we had a question from Eleanor? I don't think so. I don't know, it, it sounds, sounds like new, the first Yeah, new name, that, name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Eleanor asks, will there be alternative ways to acquire resources? Yep, so economic focus warlords like the Ox Warlord and resource stashes are making a return from Crusader 2. Eleanor back with a fifth question asking, can we expect weather like rain? Yes, Rain will be in the game. Check out the economic trailer if you haven't seen it already. Jim asks, nope, I'm only kidding, it's Eleanor again. Eleanor asks if all the warlords will be animal themed. That is the plan, yeah. Eleanor's penultimate question is, are there going to be random in-game events like the plague? Yes, there will be medieval events in the game, although obviously more sort of themed around East Asia and also playing into weather. And finally, Eleanor's last question, will the faster troops change their speed to match slower troops? That will be an option, yes, although we're not sure whether it will be the default or not. Ho6org asks, can we have pandas and tigers? No pandas, but caged tigers, yes. A second question from the Firefox who asks, will the courthouse from Stronghold 2 be returning? Unfortunately, no criminal justice system and no gong, sadly. Sorry. Shout out to those three people that enjoyed gong. Get cracking. This poo isn't going to shift itself. Dad. Yes, son. I'm not sure this job's for me. Is it me? Is it my chatter? I know I can go on a bit, but... No, Dad. It's not you. It's the poo. Well, what about the poo? Don't tell me you can't smell it. No. Ho6org again with, will there be purely decorative objects in the game? No, everything has a purpose, but that Zen garden in the game, phwa. Phwa. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, the good lord buildings can help you kind of decorate your castle and the bad lord buildings as well, if you want that aesthetic. And finally, Ho6org, his last question asks, will there be more variety in the grass texture? Yeah, we actually increased the um, limits on the number of different textures you can have in a specific part of the map. Uh, and obviously we've added grass to the game as well. Nomis68 asks, how can I sign up to the beta? Sign up to Strong Discord, link in the description below. Krara Lotus asks, what will the max building and trip limit be? Totally depends on optimization and testing, so ask us further down the line. Krana Lotus again asks, will the AI adapt to their opponent's strategy? Yep, we definitely want the AI to adapt to you this time around instead of just following like an archetype for whoever that person is. Uh, just, yeah, we're trying to make it more alive and believable and sort of no cheating involved. NP123 asks, will Stronghold Warlords be able to be played in windowed mode? Yes, I believe so. Bloody and Cruel Story of Toys asks, Will the Lords have active or passive HP regeneration? No HP regeneration is currently planned for the game. King Power asks, will attackers be able to blow up walls with gunpowder? They will. King Power asks, can you add Easter eggs from old Stronghold games? Definitely, I can't wait for people uh, to- Shut up! Oh, sorry. King Power finally asks, will you be making community contests for map builders? Yep, Aaron will be all over that, I'm sure. We'll have the return of our community spotlight series with um, competitions and that kind of thing. The Firefox asks, can you add Fear Factor with worm buckets? 
worm buckets is this like an inside joke related to the meta game yeah the it's a meta game you, you, uh, could, you could buy worm buckets oh yeah our team bought yeah. worm buckets i think yeah a lot i think this is a dentist or horde but a lot of buckets and I never used so. them yeah that sounds like horde shank asks can we play versus ai with our friends in multiplayer yes you can jimoni asks are generals limited to just one per battle not currently. Ice Cubes asks, can we move in game with the Wasid keys? Yes, you can move with the Wasid keys. <laughs> Is it Wasid? I say Wasid. Wasid, yeah. yeah sure. People don't say W A S D, do they? No, I definitely don't do that. <laughs> Murhan19 asks, can you choose or create a portrait in Warlords? There will be some profile customization options, but yeah, we'll reveal those later on. Apologies for the name, uh, Grzyzyk.redn asks, will there be Polish dubbing in game? Yep, Polish dubbing in the game, as well as English, uh, German, French, Spanish, Russian, and Chinese, uh, and then some other languages, uh, text only. Widiger asks, can your troop or lord ride a battle ox? Oh man, that sounds great. It would've been neat. Yeah, we should've thought of that. Maybe if we do a sequel. Hive Shadow DK asks, can your warlords betray you? Oh yes, they can. Noon asks, will the Warlords send players goods via Oxen? Uh, there's currently no visual representation because we want it to be as snappy and quick as possible. Um, but ask us again later on once we're into the testing phase. Andre asks, will regional pricing be like other Stronghold games? Yes. Lovecat asks, can gunpowder workers have accidents? Uh, maybe, yeah, it's a cool suggestion. It's definitely one of those things that sounds awesome, but might not be fun if you just built up a massive base and then you suddenly have a massive explosion <laughs> and your base gets destroyed. Um, so again, it's something that we'll uh, look at during testing. Batty Getty asks, how are you guys doing? Fine, apart from the global pandemic, we're kind of worried about our office plants, aren't we? Yeah, they're... On F the way out, yeah. Rip. <laughs> Barry Getty asks, will there be a loyalty system in Warlords? Uh, there will be a influence system for um, grabbing Warlords that we haven't shown in videos so far. And stay tuned because we'll be doing a deep dive on the Warlord system in the future. Gokai Sim asks, will the new game work on Mac OS? Uh, not currently, but if the game absolutely smashes it at launch, it's definitely something we could look into outsourcing maybe. Arkantos asks, will it be possible to customise units? Uh, no unit customization in this game, no. David767 please says, will there be a lord in Warlord? It's in the title, so yeah, yeah. probably mm -hmm. at least one. Articon asks, can our player lord have a wife and concubines? <laughs> that is an oddly specific request. <laughs> Scott needs this apparently. So. Your imagination is the limit. <laughs> Articon asks, will there be a market system in Warlords? Yes, you might even be able to see it in our PAX East playthrough. And finally, Articon asks, will your peasants rebel? If you don't keep them happy, yeah. Benedict asks, how has Pathfinding changed since Crusader 2? Uh, you can definitely expect improvements um, and stay tuned for future dev diaries on these kind of topics. Raxo asks, are a Warlord's units affected by Fear Factor? Uh, not currently, no, but watch this space as obviously we are you know, going to be testing that kind of stuff later in the game. Second question from Raxo, will the game have wagon transport units? Uh, no, no sort of specific transport units in the game, but we will have siege towers coming back. Doberman asks, will there be flags and other small decorations in Warlords? Uh, there'll be flags on keeps, bannermen, and I believe elsewhere in the game, yes. Nobody asks, where are you guys based? I thought nobody you meant like, nobody, nobody asks cares. this question. <laughs> so this is the person's name? Yes. Okay, so nobody asks... Where are you guys based? Okay, so we're based in London where we do a lot of sort of design, production, that kind of stuff, and I guess marketing um, sometimes. Uh, we have another studio in Aberdeen, Scotland where they mainly do a lot of our QA, and then America where we have some code, some art, and the kind of the sort of, you know, production biz style of the business as well. Corsair89 asks, will warlords fortify their castles when you capture them? Uh, not when you capture them necessarily, but when you upgrade them, they will. So if you go back and look at our PAX uh, West demo and Gamescom demo footage from last year, you'll see the Turtle Warlord building up his walls and actually adding uh, siege defences as you level him up. Hero asks, will Stronghold Warlords have an alcohol mechanic? Uh, no alcohol, but plenty of tea. I actually haven't had a drink in the last like three, four weeks because of uh, illness and self-isolation. So I'm kind of at a stage now where I'm like loving tea in my life. Green I've become, tea? I've become a tea person. Not just green tea, red tea. Yeah, all this type of stuff. I know it's weird. 
Drink more tea. So Kitty Wolf asks, actually, we have a lot of debate about how to pronounce Plokite. his name. Nick says Plokite, I say Plokiti. So we're saying Plokiti because I'm asking sure, the questions. Whatever. Plokiti Wolf asks, oh, I forgot the question. <laughs> After all that, great banter. It was self banter, yeah, really. Okay. That, was, that was banter? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were just warming up. <laughs> Road. Why will the roads be limited in number? Oh, sorry, was that you? Yeah, that's me asking. Question. Why were the roads <laughs> limited, limited in number? number? As we said in the, I think it was Castle Sim video, the design's basically not final. So again, that'll be something that we come to in testing. Ask us again later um, and just wait for more sort of economy focused videos from us. Yergi asks, will the demo be on Steam? Uh, if there is one, it will be available on Steam, yeah. Pemek asks, will Stronghold Warlords be an awesome game? Yes. Sir Doom Estos asks, will there be a story campaign or skirmish trail? Uh, there's no skirmish trail currently in the game. Uh, at the moment, we've got a 30 mission sort of single player mode across the various campaigns. Uh, and then we've also got other modes that we haven't actually revealed yet. El Lobo asks, can we have manual control over the gatehouse? Sure, just for you, Lobo. Wolfram asks, are you planning changes to wall building? Uh, we've already done a bunch of changes. Um, check out the Troops and Walls video if you haven't already. Um, and then if you've got any sort of specific suggestions, just jump into the Discord. Wolfram asks, will each troop have a strong personality? Wouldn't be stronghold without it. Crara Lotus asks, will units take damage based on their height? Uh, indeed they will. NP123 asks, can we choose between different scribe voices? Uh, no, sadly, just the one, but we're really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, and if you haven't heard it yet, check out the Economy Reveal video. Wolfram again asks, will each nation have its own unique language? Um, so if the languages in the game, we can only really afford to localise audio into Chinese. Um, but we are looking at possibly having uh, these other languages available to um, players of all different languages. Franco95 asks, will buildings cost less wood than in Crusader 2? Uh, I believe so, yeah, across the board, although obviously it's bamboo, not wood this time, no. which, fun fact, is a form of grass. So technically, you're building buildings with grass. Joseph WR asks, will the Warlord map show river crossings? Uh, not currently, no, but uh, watch this space. Yumsef asks, when will the closed beta be? Uh, if we do one, it will be uh, very close to launch, I imagine. Arkantos asks, will we be able to trade technology with the Warlords? Uh, so when you've taken over a Warlord, they're fully under your control, they've bent the knee, uh, so there's uh, no need to trade, you can just demand resources from them. The Matthias asks, can you share the animated Warlords artwork? Oh, like an animated wallpaper. Maybe, yeah, we'll look into it. Redimon asks, will the game have a tech research system? Uh, the Warlords will have their own tech tree, so as you upgrade them, you get access to uh, their perk when you capture them, uh, new resources, special units, and um, upgraded versions of new abilities. NP123 asks, will the game have the greatest Lord score system? Again, yes, it wouldn't be Stronghold without it. Sir Doom Estos asks, will the Discord metagame maps be used in the main game? Uh, to be confirmed. Richter asks, will there be a flattened buildings option like in Crusader? That is on my personal wish list, um, but we can't confirm at this time. Anatoly asks, can we play co-op against other players in co-op? Uh, yeah, I think you can. Eleanor asks, will there be bridges? Uh, no bridges in the game currently, sorry. Eleanor asks, will the troop limit remain at 200? Uh, we haven't actually set a troop limit, so as I was saying before, stay tuned. Uh, but we are looking at having the option for players to remove the troop limit um, if they want to and providing instructions for that. Radium asks, where can I sign to besiege a castle and build my own? Uh, just go on Steam and wish this the game right now. MGF asks, why is Frieza doing the voiceover? Oh, I wish. I love Dragon Ball Z. Mohammed Pio asks, how many lords will be in the game? Uh, so we'll have Genghis, uh, Hideyoshi, Qin Shi Huang, uh, Thug Fan, and then obviously all the different wards uh, we'll have in the game, like the dragon, pig, ox, horse, tiger, and so on. Bateen Chasm asks, will it be available for the PS4? Uh, sadly not, but uh, perhaps future games in the series watch this space. Chi Chi Fong asks, will there be different kinds of main keeps in the game? Uh, yeah, there will. Um, stay tuned for future videos. Keep an eye out for future videos from us on the main campaign and the characters that will be in it. Hyper Chicken asks, once you kill a warlord, does it respawn and continue to rule? Uh, currently, yes. The idea is that you have killed that warlord and installed someone else in that estate, um, but that may change slightly between now and launch. Soul Survivor kind of asks, damn, the walls and towers now have lanterns? They do, yeah. 
They're pretty. Benji asks, will we be able to build siege camps on Warlord Estates? Uh, to be confirmed, uh, that's a design decision to be made kind of when we're, we're testing the game, basically. Dr. Devil asks, what about naval forces? Dude, please. <laughs> uh, no ships in Warlords, sadly, no, but maybe in future games. Dan Kovac asks, how about adding strong walls? Uh, strong walls will indeed be an option in the game. Kishiro asks, will you add more mechanics to the Warlord system? Uh, yeah, it's very much a work in progress at the moment, so we're going to have the influence system, new Warlords, new abilities, uh, new types, all that kind of stuff, so um, stay tuned for our deep dive into the Warlord system. Mert to Mick asks, will there be different options for the origin of your Lord? Uh, yeah, currently we've only got one generic Lord for the player, um, but we're going to be able to allow players to use different characters as their Lord on their keep. Harry Haran TV asks, does the direction in which arrows hit the manlet affect damage? Uh, these actually work with a bubble air of effect, so that it's really, really obvious who's being covered by your mantlets when you select it. Lowen Dapto asks, will Warlords have any paid in-game currency? Uh, no, it's not free to play, so no in-game currency. Dennis Kuhn asks, what's the biggest map size? Yeah, so the game will ship with uh, small, medium and large maps, uh, with support for extra large maps as well. Koirul Stiawan asks, will there be a multiplayer tutorial? No multiplayer tutorial, but there will be a full single player tutorial which will teach you all the basics. Koirul Stiawan again asks, where can I download another version of Stronghold? Uh, so the whole series is available on Steam, uh, the first two games are available on GOG, and if you don't want to spend any money, you can download Strong Kingdoms on iOS or Android for free. Savent asks, please make a sequel for Space Colony. <laughs> there are like one or two of us who want to do that, um, and we do have the rights to it, so it could be something that we do in the future. Uh, we'd love to return to sort of city, sort of pure city building at some point. Um, do check out Roman's Age of Caesar if you like base building and city building exclusively. Um, and of course, there is Space Colony HD on GOG and uh, the Steam edition on Steam. Ben Ills ask, will it be possible to group mantlets with other units? Yeah, they're just treated as a regular unit on the game, so you can um, form them up and have them at the front um, for maximum protection. Errol Redclaw, cool username by the way, asks, isn't that catapult called the Sitting Tiger? Uh, yeah, actually, good eye. It's the uh, inspired by the Sitting Tiger or Crouching Tiger. Uh, I believe it was a trebuchet, so both our trebuchet and catapults are kind of inspired by those. Um, obviously, we've had to change them from the original designs to give them wheels to make them mobile and fit in our engineers. Uh, but yes, the kind of materials and the structure are inspired uh, by the uh, Crouching or Sitting Tiger. Ashen Ronin asks, Blazing Bull? Oh no, you're getting Sekiro flashbacks. I have no idea. I don't get the reference, I'm sorry. I, I never got good. I'm not a Souls-like player. Justin Taylor asks, is it just me or are the graphics and animations looking better with every video? <laughs> Thank you. And it's not just you. Um, obviously, when we revealed the game initially, that was a pre-alpha version. So the difference between then and videos at the end of the year were obviously huge. Um, and yeah, as we go forward, sort of generally when we show you something, um, we kind of zero in on um, polishing that up as much as possible. So yes, expect more improvements as uh, we go forward. Clara Lotus asks, will there be a special edition including the raw soundtrack? Uh, I will say we're going to be looking at making the soundtrack available to people in a variety of different ways, yeah. Benji asks, will the music change when you're under attack? Uh, we're definitely planning for the music to be more reactive this time around, uh, so I would say stay tuned for our behind the scenes video with our composer. I can't actually pronounce this username, so I'm just going to call you Bro Dude. <laughs> Bro Dude asks, will there be a plot for the single player? Uh, yeah, there will be 30 missions in single player across five different characters, uh, each with their own tell to tell. So there you have it, Discord. About 100 of your newest questions asked and answered in record time. That wasn't so bad, was it, Nick? Can I go back to self isolating now? You survived! Yay! As always, I'd like to thank Nick for taking time out of his busy day to help me keep the community informed. Yep, anytime. Um, obviously, certain things that we've talked about today won't be 100% yet, um, but we're being as transparent as we you know, possibly can. Um, we hope you know, that's kind of satisfied you for the time being. And um, if we haven't answered anything, I guess just stay tuned for future videos when those things will be nailed down. 
If this video answered any questions that you had about Stronghold Warlords, then please do hit the link below to go to our Steam page. Whether you're excited about Stronghold Warlords or any future games in the series, a wish list ensures a healthy future for all Stronghold games. And finally, if you liked the video, make sure to give us a like and then make sure you're subscribed with the notifications on so you get all future updates on Stronghold Warlords and Romans Age of Caesar. If this video has answered one of your questions, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me try. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Mine sounds so pathetic. Fuck it. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Can you still move your hands after doing that? <laughs>